We're here in the field today to check these spotted wing Drosophila traps. So let's go ahead, collect the trap, and we'll get started. It helps if you have a nice level place for you to work on, like this table here, but the trunk of a car will do, or the, the bed of a truck will work as well. What we'll need is we'll need a strainer, we'll need something to catch the liquid, we'll need a vial to put the insects in, and some tweezers to uh, pull the, the insects out once we get to, to looking at them. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll remove the lid from the container. Then we'll swirl the liquid around inside the container, loosening the insects up from the bottom. Then we'll pour the liquid through the strainer, separating the insects out so we can sort through them. Next, we'll go ahead and pour the liquid back into the container so it'll be ready to go back out when we are ready to reset the traps. Then we need to replace the lid on the container. Once we take the lid off the vial and we get the tweezers in hand, then we're ready to check the insect traps to separate the insects. What we're looking for is insects that are about the right size and color. And what we're going to do is collect those insects and we're going to put them in this jar and we'll take them back to the lab and look at them under the microscope to see which ones are the spotted wing Drosophila and which ones are the imposters. When we're finished collecting the insects that we want, we'll put the lid back on and then we'll shake the rest of these out into the grass and we'll get ready for the next trap. When we finish checking all of our traps, we need to make sure that the vinegar level is up where it needs to be. So we'll check and we'll pour a little bit of vinegar in there to bring that level back up to where it needs to be. Then we'll put the lid back on the trap and the trap's ready to go back out into the field. Now that we've finished checking the traps, we'll go hang the traps back up and we'll take our stuff back to the lab where we'll check it under the microscope to see what's there.